Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Again, depending on what part of the world you're in, giving all the honor to God. Welcome to the Five Minute Facebook Ministry. My name is Anthony Daniels. And, the, and today we're coming out of the book of Nahum, first chapter, seven verse. That's Nahum 1 and 7. And it reads, The Lord is good and refuge in times of trouble. He cares for those who trust in him. Again, out of the NIV, the Lord is good, a refuge in times of trouble. He cares for those who trust in him. Now, this is, uh, you know, chapter 1 talks about a prophecy con concerning Nineveh. And it talks about the Lord's anger against Nineveh. And as you read this, it talks about all the things. Uh, how God is slow to anger, but, you know, he's, he's, he's great in power. Now he's going to punish. He won't leave people unpunished, those who deserve to be punished unpunished. And the things that he's going to do because he, he's upset with Nineveh. But within all this, it says, the Lord is good, a refuge in times of trouble. He cares for those who trust in him. So I, I see this as a message to those in, in Nineveh who trust in God. Because God is angry at Nineveh. And he's going to punish Nineveh because they have been sinful. And this is in the, uh, in the Old Testament. And, um, you know, God poured out his wrath a lot more in the Old Testament than he did in the New Testament. Uh, the New Testament more talks about, you know, God's grace and God saving us. Um, but uh, the Old Testament, yeah, God pours out his wrath. And, you know, when he says the Lord is good, a refuge in times of trouble. So even when that trouble is coming from God, when God is pouring his anger out, when God, when God is punishing a nation or a city or a region for, for their unbelief and, and, for, and for their reckless living, you know, the Lord is still good. And he's a refuge in times of trouble. It says he cares for those who trust in him. So if, if you're in Nineveh, and you trust in God, then he's your refuge, even as he's bringing his own uh, rage against the city. So let's fast forward that to today. What does this mean to us in today's time frame? The Lord is still good. The Lord doesn't change. So that hasn't changed. The Lord is good. That has not changed. A refuge in times of trouble. It has not changed. God is still a refuge in times of trouble. And today we have a lot of different troubles that we face. And the, and, the, and the Lord, who is still good, is still our refuge when we fall upon the, when we come upon those troubles. It says he cares for those who trust in him. That is like the understatement of the year of the Bible. He cares for those who trust in him. No, he loves you. He loves those who trust. He loves you if you don't trust him. But the thing is, he does care for us. He loves us. He wants to take care of us. And if we trust in God, he'll bring us through that trouble. He'll bring us through that trouble. And whether the trouble is caused by him or caused by somebody else, if you trust in God, he will bring you through a trouble. And the thing that we got to realize is that, you know, I was... I was uh, at a Bible study tonight, and uh, we call it a cell meeting over here. Um, but he was the, the 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 pastor was talking about how um, God God likes to push us to to the edge. He likes to push us push us to the edge when we can't move any longer, when we can't figure things out our own, and we got to come to Him. And when He would when He when He when we win victory while we're on the edge, that strengthens our faith in Him. So sometimes we got to realize that when we're, in the, when we're in that trouble, that refuge, God is still our refuge, but sometimes he lets us get so deep into trouble because we're trying to fix things on our own, even though we trust him, we're trying to handle things on our own. He lets us get to that edge where we think we're going to fall off. Okay? And then he comes in and he helps us. God is always on time. But when he does that, when we see where we've come from, that builds up our faith. That builds up our trust. 
and, and that prepares us to do greater things for our God. And that's what we need to be. We need, we need to be ready to live on the edge with God. When we come to that edge, that we can trust him. And we know that he is not going to let us fall off the edge. And, and when he was talking about the edge, he was talking primarily about reaching out and saving other people and being on the edge in a manner of reaching out and letting people know who God is. And in this, in this case, a refuge in times of trouble. That's trouble that you, especially in this country, if, if I'm about to talk to people about Jesus Christ, I ain't getting a lot of trouble. I got I to gotta trust God as I'm stepping out on that edge. I got to go to the limits that I can, the extreme limits for God. And then trust him. And it says, he cares for those who trust in him. I trust in him, and I know he cares and loves, loves me. And I know that he will not let me fail. And he has a purpose for me, and he has a purpose for you. And we need to trust him in that. We need to fulfill that purpose that God has in our lives. Ooh, that's all the time that I have. Hey, God bless you. God loves you. I love you too. Have a great day.